Our next guest is an award-winning journalist and correspondent you know best from his long-running work on Dateline. The 30th season premieres this Friday, September 24th, right here on NBC. Please welcome to the show and the studio, Keith Morrison. Welcome back. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Come on up. Thank you. Where you live, huh? This is where I live. It's not too bad, right? I thought you were at that Italian restaurant most of the time. <laughs> no, that's not me. You're thinking of someone else. 30 seasons. I know. I know. Can you believe it? Believe what? That it's 30 seasons. Oh, that. Oh, that. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> no I can't, as a matter of fact. It, you know, it goes by about a week and a half. Yeah. Yeah. When you started... Did I see you about a week and a half ago? You, it felt like a week ago. You were actually... The first time you were here, you were in our studio, was the first season of our show. Uh, we did a sketch together where uh, which last week, which it felt like last uh, week, but it was. Uh, but would you believe it was almost seven years ago that you were here? Isn't that maybe. crazy? Yeah. When you when did you know Dateline was working? You know, it 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 actually worked from the very beginning. It worked so well from the very beginning that they wanted a show on five five nights a week. Yeah. Even when we didn't do crime, it worked quite well. And <laughs> there are a lot of stories I love doing stories about a whale or a wolf or yeah. Do, you know. you, do they let you do many whale or wolf stories? No these whale days? and wolf stories yeah. anymore. No, no, no. No, that's no. too bad. You, because I mean, I feel like you were at the at the forefront of this true of crime. Of the whale? Oh no! Of no, no, the whale. You guys were <laughs> way at the end of the whale, uh, the oh, whale moment. Sure. Um, but you guys were yeah, yeah, uh, true, true crime. It's true, and it, uh, we discovered a kind of well, yeah, by accident, uh, I guess you could say. But there were there, there were good stories out there, which were crime stories. We did a couple of them. They did extraordinarily well compared to the rest of the programs. So we did more of them. Yeah. And then we just made them longer and longer and longer. And uh, the world has uh, done a nice job by continuing to provide you uh, crimes. They do that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> when you, when you, when they bring them to you, when they say, hey, uh, Keith, uh -huh. here's a new story. Here's a, a woman. It does seem like a lot of wives uh, want to get rid of their husbands. Is that, would you say thematically that has... You know, you know um, I, think that's, I think that's a fantasy by some people. Yeah. yeah. I think you may, maybe they don't want to act on it, but they yeah. don't mind watching a dateline or two about it. The sad truth is usually the other way around. But, yeah. you know, yeah, so it makes a better story, you know. Right, it's that's true. Dog bites man. Stuff. Yeah, exactly. Everybody's like, finally, uh, finally, they're getting theirs. Yeah. Did you know that your voice would be a perfect fit for these kinds of stories? Uh, it is no, no. You, you didn't know. No. I, well, come on, you. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing here anyway? Uh, yeah, no, I didn't yeah. actually. I had no idea. Yeah. yeah. But that seems to be one of the nice but surprises. But it's, it, it's odd. It, yeah, it's a, you know, people uh, uh, do imitations of it. And, Bill Hader uh, did uh, a famous inter, uh, imitation of you on SNL. When we were together the first time, I texted him and said, I hope you're jealous because uh -huh. I'm with the real, the real Keith Morrison. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Did you enjoy his impression of you? Uh, it was, yes. I, okay. I did and I didn't. Have you ever, have you had somebody do an impression of you? In a, yeah. In a kind of a parody like that? Yeah, way? but not quite like that. Yeah. I mean, I feel like he really. So if the first time you ever saw it, yeah. uh, you were unprepared for it and it was on national television right. on Saturday Night Live and you turn on the TV and somebody's doing that. Is that, how, did you see it first or did you get a bunch of no, texts I, from people? Well, I got a, my daughter. Uh, yeah. Was she happy? Did your daughter like it? She was laughing her head off. Okay, well that's good. So, I think that's a good sign if your daughter laughs her head off. Yeah, well, but it does a wonderful thing actually for a person's uh, sense of him or herself. I think so it's, too. It's a, you know, it's, it's an amazing thing. It's, it it feels you makes you feel good, but at the same time you realize even when you feel good, even when you feel noticed and appreciated, you're an idiot. <laughs> You always were an idiot. I don't think that's. I don't think that's the takeaway. <laughs> One thing that I feel like proves you're not an idiot is you. Uh, there's an Instagram account, uh, which is you. You all uh, photos of you leaning against things. I never lean. This is something that you. That's fake will you photography. Explain why you have decided to lean against things. I didn't decide. It was just you know. Here, look, here's You know what example. happened uh, uh, when people would talk. Account. Have you watched the news? I've over, watched the news yeah, once or twice. Once or twice, yeah. yeah. So. They don't do it quite so much anymore, but it used to be that you'd see some person walking along the street, gesticulating with his right. or her hands and, and walking toward a camera or walking somewhere and kind of telling you what. And I always thought that looked ridiculous. I, 
I like the people involved, but why are they doing that? And so... So do you mean like a news something. story starts and someone's walking towards camera like telling you what happened? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And you didn't like it? I didn't like it, no. So you came up with the lean? Well, what do you mean came up with? I was leaning to begin with. You were leaning to begin with, but, but I feel right like... Now. But look, I, I mean, look at this. This... I mean, it's such a pro move. Like, this guy, I want to hear what this guy has to say. Yeah, he's leaning on a fence. This guy's leaning on the fence. He's not in a rush. He wants to tell you a story. Barbed wire fence. Yeah, that part was weird to me, that you would choose to not lean against the post. I have no idea how painful that was. Yeah, and then you didn't, I remember that, that episode, a solitary tear rolled down your face. That's right. <laughs> as, the, as the barb cut through uh -huh. your sweater. Yeah. This one somebody mocked up. I like that a good deal. No, that's real. That's real, that's him? That's the only real one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, will you, um... Makes sense. Yeah. You have a, a... I feel like when I do a tease for our upcoming guests, they're good, you know, I think people are excited to see them, but I feel like I don't add the sort of drama uh, that you could. Do you mind, uh, do you mind teasing our guests for tomorrow night? It's John Kerry and, and Jim Gaffigan. John Kerry on tomorrow night. That's pretty good, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. So, uh, do you mind? I don't mind at all. Join us tomorrow when former Secretary of State John Kerry shares a secret that changes everything. And when funny man Jim Gaffigan swings by, the laughter stops and the screaming begins. <laughs> Tomorrow, a late night with Seth Meyers. See, I think that's gonna be big for us. I think that's gonna be so really good. big for us. <laughs> You're also um, uh, you're also doing a lot of podcasting now, which seems like a perfect fit. We are doing fit. podcasts, which is yeah, they don't have to look at my face that way. They can yeah. just talk to them. And, do people ever recognize you from your voice first on the street? All the time, yeah. 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 And what do they say to you? Why do you talk that funny way? <laughs> well, that seems like a very fair question. Uh, uh, Thirty seasons, congratulations! Thank you very it's much. It's really an accomplishment, and we really appreciate you being with us. Thirtieth season of Dateline premieres this Friday at nine p.m. here on NBC.